Now time for Ask the Expert. Today, we are talking about balance and what you can do to gain more strength and coordination. So we're gonna do this on one leg. Yep. Joining the us live this afternoon is wellness ambassador <laughs> David Pritchard. And yes. I say uh, stand on one leg, but even as I'm doing this, oh, I right. can feel the you know the muscles working. You need muscles to stay balanced. Absolutely, you? is that the most exciting thing to do? No, no. you know, and I don't see people in the gym getting yeah. excited to work out their balance muscles. Mm -hmm. But it's so important, no matter what age you're on. You know, we start to think about it, especially as a physical therapist. When I worked at a hospital, we would see a lot of the sure. older people. We got to work on your balance, but we want to start young and work it into your routine. And it doesn't take a lot for you to do it. it takes five, ten minutes of doing things. You don't need equipment. You know, you can do it right out of the shower. Right. You know, so it's all those things that you can do just to kind of get up, go, and do it. So these movements are based on just, yes, we want to work our core. core. That's mm -hmm. important. But we want to work our mind and our eyes because that's where really balance starts, that hand-eye coordination. Mm -hmm. So let's go through a couple things. I'm going right. to take you both through. So mm -hmm. one of the natural things that we do when we stand mm -hmm. is hip width, obviously. Mm -hmm. So just simple things that you can do is just taking your, your left foot and just putting it right in front of your right foot. So it doesn't have to be right in front. You can even have it off to the side. <laughs> See already, right? <laughs> so what you want to think about is how to make this a little bit more challenging. How do mm -hmm. I create a little bit more dynamic so that when it go into the real world, whether I'm walking, hiking, biking, working out, mm -hmm. that these things can work well into. Okay. So then you make it a little harder by taking that left foot and putting it right in front of the right foot. Oh, that's easy. Okay? Now, it's easy. Okay, now wh here's what we're going to do. Let's put our left knee up and place our right foot foundation solid. I now have on heels. Now this hold is here. Yeah. Now here's what I want you both to do. Yeah. It's close your eyes. Yeah, no, that, I know what will happen <laughs> when I close my eyes. But so, do you, why is that? <laughs> well, you're taking that whole hand-eye coordination out of it right. and you're putting it into where our balance starts. Should you, you be able to hold it with your Absolutely. eyes? Absolutely. Really? Yes, closing your eyes. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Really? So now think about it. Opening those eyes I'm up. Serious. Now yeah. think about it. Because Every I need night to stay you gotta focus practice. On exactly. I mean, usually when you're in those classes, yeah. they're telling focus on something on the, on the now floor. Now I don't recommend it at the beginning. Maybe mm -hmm. you're just focusing right. on something on the floor, something not moving, yeah. uh -huh. something static, yeah. and then work your way into something yeah, more dynamic. Now you start adding motion exactly. to it. Exactly. Now mean, the it, other motion that's yeah. really good is simulating picking something up off the ground. Right. So let's go back to that left foot planted, mm -hmm. right knee up. Bring that leg back behind you and start to move forward. Mm -hmm. And now in this motion, come straight up. Don't place that foot on the ground. And let's go back down again. And so you would do five or 10 repetitions of those. Mm -hmm. And it really starts to create a close real Close your eyes life. on those when you get. Yeah, well, I probably don't recommend closing your eyes on those. But what that does like is it really forces that core. core. It uh -huh. forces those legs. Mm -hmm. And then what we want to yeah, do is we want to move our body in the direction it's meant to move in, which is twisting, bending, all those mm -hmm. things. Okay. So let's get that left leg forward, that right leg back. Okay, then what we want to do is, as we finish here, is get into this lunge position, mm -hmm. have those hands out here. Let's move to the left and go right back to the center. Your other left. Move to the left and then go right back to the center. Right. So again, multi-dimensional, start slow. It doesn't have to be very dynamic, mm -hmm. but just even holding this position here, forcing your body to kind of have to fix itself, mm -hmm. that's how you get better. And then work up to, what is it, that, the, the bozu? You can bring the bozu wow. ball, certainly, but you don't need to. Just, just even focusing on one leg. You can even yeah. do exercises like this. Adding weights in, bands, right. things like that. Charles, just 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 do it first with your eyes closed. Well, you no, I know what will happen. Yeah, <laughs> standing That's in right. church with my eyes. Closed. That's right. <laughs> All right, got a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there for you. 